Hey everybody, and welcome to my tutorial on how to solve a 6x6 cube. The cube I will be using is the V-Cube 6, which as of now is the only cube that has been created with 6 layers. As you might already know, solving a 6x6 is very similar to solving both a 4x4 and a 5x5 cube, so I highly recommend that you know how to solve both, and I do require that you can solve at least a 3x3 cube. You can view my tutorials for all of those cubes on my channel playlist by clicking on my name. What I will be teaching in this tutorial is the reduction method. What that requires is that you solve the 6x6 cube center pieces, then you pair up the edge pieces and fix all of the parity errors, and finally solve the 6x6 cube as a 3x3. Because the 6x6 is an even layered cube, we will also encounter parity errors when solving the cube as a 3x3. I'm going to first explain the new notation I will be using, and also the component pieces of the 6x6 cube. With this method, you should be able to solve any sized big cube. Alright, so notation for the 6x6 cube is a little bit different since we do have different types of inside layers. For the algorithms, we're going to be turning the outer layers by themselves, two layers together, and also three layers together. An uppercase letter means that we're going to be turning an outer layer by itself. A lowercase letter means that we're going to be turning more than one layer, either two layers or three layers. Any numbers which are in front of the lowercase letter lets you know how many layers to turn. So if I have a three little d, it means to turn all three down layers clockwise a quarter turn. A lowercase l with an apostrophe or prime symbol after it means we must turn two left faces counterclockwise. A 2 can be used in front of the L, however, it's usually left out. 3 little u2 would indicate we must turn the 3 upper layers twice. And a big R2 would mean we must turn the outer right layer twice. Now that you're familiar with the new notation, let's take a look at the component pieces of the 6x6 cube. Alright, so since this 6x6 is an even layered cube, there is no center axis piece that defines exactly where the centers belong. The center pieces are arranged as a 4x4 block. There are 4 inner center pieces per side, there are 8 edge center pieces per side, and there are also 4 corner center pieces per side. Each set of center edge pieces has a left and a right piece. There are also 12 groups of edges, which are composed of four pieces. There are two inner edge pieces, and there are also two outer edge pieces. All cubes also have eight corner pieces. Now that you know what I will call the pieces, let's move on to placing the centers. Placing the centers on the 6x6 cube is fairly intuitive and very similar to solving the centers of both a 4x4 and a 5x5. A 5x5, however, and all odd cubes have center axis pieces that are stationary. What that means is that the black center will always be opposite the yellow center, the green center will always be opposite the blue center, and the red will always be opposite the orange. Learning the color scheme of the cube will help you arrange the centers properly on the 6x6 cube. What we're going to be doing on the 6x6 cube is creating four of these 1x4 blocks, and we're going to be joining them together to form a 4x4 four four center. Understanding what types of pieces make up both the outer and the inner blocks is important for solving the centers. Inner blocks are made up of the inner center pieces and also the edge center pieces, while the outer blocks are made up of the edge center pieces and the corner center pieces. So now let's try to form a center on a mixed up cube. All right, the first two centers I'm going to place are the black and the yellow centers, which are always opposite each other. So, looking around the cube, you want to find center pieces which may already be in the same layer. That way, we can complete a 1x4 block. These two center edge pieces are in the same layer and need to be joined by two corner center pieces in order to complete this outer 1x4 block. So, we look around the cube for two corner center pieces. Here is one, and here is another one. This one is in the upper left of this 4x4 four four center block, while this one's in the lower right. So if you look at the empty positions, this one's in the lower right, and this one's in the lower left. So that's where we need to get these pieces. This one is already there, in the lower right, so we can flip it into that empty spot. 
This one is in the upper left, so we need to get it down into the lower left so that we can flip it into that empty spot. So now we have completed our first 1x4 block. Looking around the cube, you want to find pieces again, which may be in the same layer. Alright, so here we have pieces that are in the same layer. In order to complete this inner 1x4 block, we need to get an inner center piece and a right center edge piece. So here we have an inner center piece. What we can do is we have a right edge center piece here next to it. If you'll see, if you turn these so that they're on the same layer as these two, this one will go in this spot and this one can go in this spot. So what we can do is we could turn this piece up there first. Now you have three. Now, looking at the position of this one, it's in the lower right of this 2x2 two two inner center block, and so is this empty spot. So, all we have to do is bring this piece into that spot. To do that, you bring three faces, and then you bring two back. So, now we have another one that we could join to this one. This one is vertical. We need to get this one vertical, so that we could join it to this one. So, now we could bring this piece down to that face. Alright, so now we want to get another one by four block. So, these two pieces are in the same face here. To finish this one by four inner center block, we need to get an inner center piece and a right edge center piece. So, here we have an inner center piece. This empty spot is in the lower right of this two by two block. So, this needs to go to the lower right. Now, we could flip this piece into that empty spot. So, we bring three and then bring back two. Now we just need a right center edge piece. So here is a right center edge piece. We put it in the same layer as these three by twisting this face counterclockwise like that. Now it's in the right position for joining it to these three. So we just bring it up to that face and we have finished our third 1x4 block. So we want to get it next to these two. So we put this vertically and now we could flip this up into that empty position. Now we just need one more outer 1x4 block. So here we have two pieces and we just need those two corners again like the first one we did. So if we look around the cube, here are the two corners. They're already next to each other positioned correctly. All we need to do is get it into the same layer as these two. So we put it onto the bottom layer and now we can just flip these two pieces down next to these two. One Two, and we have finished our fourth 1x4 block. So we hold this, this is vertical. We just need to get these two, these three vertically. Now we can flip this into the empty position and we have finished our first 4x4 center block. Alright, so now that you've seen the method for forming 1x4 blocks, you should have a better understanding of how to create the centers. I'm going to go a little faster when explaining the remaining centers. We need to get the yellow center to be opposite the black center, so we need it to go here. So we have three pieces up there. What we could do is we could join this piece up with those. So we put it horizontal, and now we have this piece. However, when you do that, you're going to mess up the centers. So you turn it vertical, and then bring this back. Alright, so here we have a corner piece. We could put it here, and we can get another corner piece, and put it there. Now we have another 1x4 block put this vertical, flip it up. When you do that you mess up the centers, so we flip it up, turn this twice, and then put this back. Okay, so we have two pieces up here. We can get this piece up next to it. Now we just need to find a corner piece. Here's a corner piece. We can flip it all the way around, and now put this vertical, kick that end piece out, turn the top twice and then put this back down. Now we have three and we just need to get one more. So this piece can go next to this piece and then we just need two more. Here's the other one. Flip this around in that empty spot. It's in the bottom right, this last piece, so we put the piece in the bottom right. Turn three and bring back two. Now we have the last one. Now you can't just put it in that empty spot by twisting it up like that, that would mess up the black center. So what you do, turn it around and you kick out this other inner 1x4 block. 3 and 2, 
turn the top twice, and then bring that piece down. And now, we have the yellow center complete and opposite the black. So now you're ready to go on and place the remaining four centers.